Hi guys, you are watching Aurora's vlog. This is my second podcast and we have a guest today. He is from Canada. His name is Wayne and he is married to a beautiful Filipina. Today he's gonna discuss top five benefits of marrying Pinay. Pinay means is women of the Philippines. And if this is your first time watching Aurora's vlog, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and without further ado, let's get this video going. So let's welcome Wayne. Thank you Aurora for having me as your guest. Today I will be talking about benefits of marrying Pinay, women from the Philippines. Having spent the last 20 years around Philippine people and more specifically around Filipinas, I am more than qualified in this subject. Marrying a Filipina is indeed a life-changing event. These beautiful and vibrant ladies are a charm to behold. They will bring a spice to your life which you never had before. For those curious guys, interested guys, or anyone watching this, I have found the following to be the case with the majority of Filipinas. It is not an exhaustive list, but I feel it covers the main points why any guy would benefit from marrying a Filipina. Number 1. Filipinas are extraordinarily social creatures for people like me who even though we are decent and intelligent, making and having a group of friends is not our forty in life. I am not socially retarded in any sense, but I am a guy and guys oftentimes aren't good at nurturing life's social relationships. Filipinas are masters of that art. And when you marry one and bring her overseas, she explores and develops relationships with other Filipinas. And there are always a lot around to be found. Philippine people tend to clump together in groups. You can clump together a lot or a little, depending on your preferences. I have always taken advantage of this. The food parties they have are extraordinary. Number 2. Filipinas are flexible. They tend to adapt new surroundings quickly. Therefore, when coming from overseas and from somewhat similar yet very different culture, they do adapt fairly quickly for their new surroundings. The cultural shock that you would expect when transitioning to a new life is minimal at best. Furthermore, they do tend to adapt well to whatever social class you belong. If you are not so well off considering, or if you are very well off, they make the adjustment well. This might be one of the reasons the age differences tend to be irrelevant. I have known Filipina slash Canadian couples with only a few years difference in age, and I have no cases where the age differences are much greater. My own wife is 20 years younger than I am, and we are very much fashionate and compassionate to one another. Number 3. Filipinos are adventurous. They love life and love enjoying life to the fullest. I took my wife fishing last year. She loved it. Without the preconceived notions that they will hate this or that, they do enjoy trying new things. Different activities. They are also filled with suggestions of a new and different things to do and try. My suggestion? Step out of your monotony and try something new. I might add 
if you are still developing your relationship with a woman, this would be the tremendous bonding experience for the two of you. And I must say, when I say adventurous, it doesn't necessarily mean jumping out of airplanes. Pick at any activity both of you are comfortable with and will enjoy. My whole point here is that break into monotony is a healthy thing. Enjoy life a bit. Number 4. Filipinos are family oriented. Generally, they come from large families and even larger extended families. A family is the starting point in life. You become part of their extended family when you marry a Filipina, and they become a member of your family, and she will love your family as her own and you will love hers as well. Family is a social structure tried and tested in history. It works to help give structures to one's life. Number 5. Filipinas are beautiful, charmingly beautiful. Conversely, they consider white guys to be handsome. I am an average looking man when I walked down the street in my home city. However, when I walked down the street in the Philippines, I am a superman. The looks and stares do stimulate the ego. I know physical looks are superficial and that there is more to be found beneath the layers. But I do go myself the allowance with respect to the occasional woman in my distant past who looked at me with utter disinterest or even disapproval. To hell with them. He couldn't hold a candle to any of these Filipinos. Thank you for listening.